Hi everyone, welcome back to this uh, video series. In this video, we'll talk about um, essentially find out whether KNN can work with categorical data. In the vast landscape of machine learning algorithm, the KNN algorithm has definitely found its place as one of the versatile and intuitive approach. But always a qu common question that uh, you know, comes to our mind as a data scientist, can KNN seamlessly handle categorical data or it is designed only for numerical data? Traditionally, KNN has been associated with uh, numerical data relying on distance uh, matrix such as uh, Euclidean or uh, Manhattan distance to measure the proximity between the samples, data samples. Yet uh, nowadays in the modern data sets, we uh, encounter many places where we have presence of categorical data. For example, marketing, healthcare, social sciences, where categorical variables often take uh, the center stage. And hence the need to see if KNN can work with categorical data or we need to adapt KNN to this particular requirement. In this video, we'll see the details of, uh, you know, employing KNN with uh, categorical data and can it be done directly or does it require any certain adjustments or any external library, certain packages that can help us deal with uh, data sets which has numeric as well as categorical data. Set, data. Let's get started here. Uh, I'm going to show you some examples first as to how categorical data can pose problem, especially with KNN and uh, Euclidean distances. Let's try out this simple example of one heart encoding where we have the columns like color and size and uh, area, let's say urban and semi-urban, rural. And if you were to convert it into in terms of uh, one heart encoding, so this will pretty much look like this. Now, when you compute the distances, uh, pairwise distances between the sample, uh, notice here the distances are same for the row number one with zero. Row number one with zero, the distance is 1.4. Row number one with the Row number four, the distance is same, which is not uh, what we, um, you know, desire or what uh, really the situation is. So Euclidean distance with one hot encoding uh, is certainly not the option. And likewise, you can see here for row number three also the same situation. The row number three, the distance of row number three with zero. Zero means the row number zero is same as uh, distance of row number three with uh, row number one. That's not also desirable. And likewise, some more examples here. Let's try out the categorical data uh, using a label encoding. Let's say in this case, we are not using one hot encoding, but we use the label encoding to randomly use zero, one, two for the categories. In this also, situation is slightly better, but the uh, problem still exists. For example, here, the row number zero with row number one and two are equidistant, which is not the case. Similarly, row number two is equidistant with zero and three, which is not the case here. So either one hot encoding or ordinal, both approaches do not work when it comes to Euclidean distances in uh, KNN. So the recommendation um, is some of the recommendation, the Euclidean and Minskowski may not be the right choice here. We might choose uh, either frequency encoding or weighted uh, metric or target encoding as alternative. Or we consider some advanced embedding techniques to represent the categorical values. And this topic we will cover in deep learning and natural language processing. One more alternative is to consider Gower distance metric, which is designed to handle both numeric and uh, categorical. 
one point to note uh, in order to use Gower distances, uh, we will have to write a bit of custom code. So, there is a library available which you need to install in your uh, Python environment, make use of the library, and a certain line of code, an additional line of code that we have to use to make use of Gower distance. I'm going to show you the Python example for the same. So, for example, the mixed data type, uh, numerical plus categorical, and we need to provide the original data, which has both numerical and categorical data. Then we call the Gower function, which is called Gower matrix. matrix. Use this function directly on your data set. The beauty of Gower matrix is it can figure out which columns are truly numeric and which columns are possibly categorical. Simply, it uses some heuristics. If certain values appear as unique, you know, less number of times, the chances are they are categorical. And uh, this is how the Gower function handles the data types, numeric and categorical. And the output is a Gower distance matrix, which is similar to what we have seen in the Euclidean pairwise distance output. So this is how the Gower distances will look like. It is very much similar to what we saw earlier in the pairwise Euclidean distance. So example, so for example, here the ordinal data, low, medium, high, and low. And the Gower distance is 0, 1, 1, and 0. That means the distance of here, the row number 0, with the rest of the rows here. So that computes here the distance. And for example, low versus high, that is also 1. Now, um, if you apply uh, ordinal encoded, let's say, you know, on the ordinal string, let's say low, medium, high, if I encode it like 2, 4, and 6, and 2, then you notice here the outcome is fairly meaningful. For example, low and medium is 0 0.5, low and high is 1, is different, which was not the case earlier. So let's go back and see here one more time. So I have the data set. And uh, low and medium, the distance is 1. And low and high, the distance is also 1, which is not desirable. Although the Gower function can handle the categorical data in values, in characters. But ideally, you should convert the uh, categorical values into you know, uh, numerical representation, if that makes uh, the you know, meaning here. So 2, 4, and 6. And now you notice here the distances are quite meaningful, like low and medium, 0 0.5. Low and high is 1, which is different than 0 0.5. So let's take a look at the Python code to how we actually use the Gower package. OK, so this is a, this is a demo on Gower distance. So we need to install this package, pip install Gower. And uh, using a Gower matrix function, which will do the computation. So let's say that we have this uh, data, numerical data, and categorical, and one more categorical here. For example, this is the data frame. You can simply pass the data frame as it is, and it's going to compute the Gower distance for you. Now, we talked about it. Uh, simply passing the categorical values may not be the right approach here. So we should convert these things to, uh, you know, uh, you know, meaningful uh, numbers. Okay. For example, here, low, medium, high. And we talked about it, how they are equidistant in some cases. So we need to convert it to a numeric representation. Let's say low is 2, medium is 4, high is 6. And then we apply the Gower matrix on that data frame with, uh, with the numerical representation, you have a better output. So this is how it is used in uh, you know, practical situations. So only thing is uh, we have to make sure 
the categorical labels are converted to appropriate uh, numerical one. But in case of nominal, we probably will not be able to do it. Let's say these are your nominal values. So in that case, just simply use the label encoder, or you can let the power matrix give the label and uh, do the computation for you. I hope this explanation was helpful. Okay, so that was the coverage on uh, how to make uh, KNN work with categorical data along with a Python demo utilizing one of the libraries called Gower Distance. In the next video, we'll talk about the model evaluation techniques, uh, you know, using KNN. Well, model evaluation techniques are not as separate or exclusive to KKNN. We will talk about the typical machine learning evaluation techniques while using KNN. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.